hello, hello. Welcome back to the Book Bob Theory, where we deep dive into the world of publishing without any of the stiff literary airs. I'm Namrata, your host. And today, we are tackling a burning question that I know has crossed every author's mind at least once. Can authors be made as famous as movie stars? I'll give you a second to imagine it. Mm, yep, I'm picturing it too. Red carpets, flash bulbs going off, reporters crowding in, breathlessly asking, what were you thinking when you wrote chapter seven? Or did you base your protagonist on a real person? And of course, the inevitable, who are you wearing tonight? As you gracefully respond with, oh, this, just a little something I threw on. It's a limited edition scarf that the indie bookstore down the street has. But let's be real. Are authors ever going to get that level of fame? Is the world ready for authors to have screaming fans and paparazzi documenting their every move? Time for a reality check. Now, before we get carried away, envisioning ourselves sitting next to Shah Rukh Khan on Coffee with Karan, let's break it down. Authors are celebrated for their words. You know, those beautiful things that stay locked away in a book, hidden from the world unless you open it. Whereas movie stars, they are celebrated for their faces. Sometimes their words too, but let's face it, pun intended, it's mostly the faces. The point is, as authors, we don't have the same instant visual impact as actors. You see, a movie star's face and boom, instant reaction. There is an instant recognition that happens. You have a reaction, you have joy, you have excitement. But authors, unless you're sitting on the back cover of every book that you've ever written with a really glamorous headshot, chances are you're just a name. But hey, names have power too. I mean, how many times have you said, I am reading a book by Preeti Shinoi? and people have just lost their minds, right? Authors can be famous, it's just a little different. So how can authors gain that movie star level fame? The first step, brace yourselves for this, is something I know a lot of us shy away from, which is self-promotion. I know, I know you probably got into writing because you love words and not because you wanted to be on Instagram, doing dance moves to promote your latest book. But here's the thing. Times have changed, my friends. You've got to build that online presence. Like movie stars have fan clubs, hashtags, memes. Oh, yes. Authors do need memes. And if you don't already have a fan base who's making memes about your characters, what are you doing? Get on that now. But how far can fame go? Now, while we can definitely aim for more fame as authors, do we really want to be followed around like Bollywood celebrities? Imagine this, you're sitting in a cafe trying to work on your next novel. All of a sudden, a swarm of fans bursts through the books, to the door, frantically asking for autographs, selfies and spoilers for your next book. And you thought writing with a cup of coffee is hard before. <laughs> now there are flashing cameras and people interrupting your thought process every five minutes. And please, don't even get me started on the red carpet pressures. Can you imagine the anxiety of trying to explain your 800-page fantasy epic to a reporter who just wants to know if you will wear the same dress as a film star at the next Literary Awards? Excuse me, ma'am. Why did you choose such a complex narrative arc in Chapter 23? Also, is that last season's couture? I mean... That sounds stressful enough to send any introverted writer running back to their cozy writing book. So where's the balance? <clears throat> Maybe we don't need that kind of thing, but then there has to be a middle ground. One of the best thing authors can do is connect with their readers and know it doesn't have to be through insane media blizzards or wearing designer dresses to book launches. It's all about authenticity. Let's take examples of Amish Tripathi or Chetan Bhagat who've done an amazing job of creating a personal brand. People follow them, they attend their talks, they wait for their books to release and yes, they are still able to enjoy a cup of coffee in the piece. 
well, in peace mostly. <laughs> their success comes from the fact they engage their readers, share personal insights, and most importantly, stay connected. They're present on social media, they do interviews, but they're not out there doing 15-minute coffee with current rapid-fire rounds. Fame as an author today is really about finding your audience and building a community around your work. If you think about it, authors are already creating fan bases with social media, book signings, and even slight mommy's word to screen market, where your books could literally be turned into Netflix or Prime series. I mean, that's as close to Hollywood fame as you can get. Look at someone like Anuja Chauhan. Her books are turning into films and TV series left and right. People are starting to recognize her, not just as a novelist, but as a storyteller whose words are now coming alive on the screen. That's the kind of fame that feels sustainable, where your words do the talking, but you know, without the paparazzi following you to your grocery store run. So that brings us to the final and the most important question that we had when we started. Can authors become as famous as movie stars? Probably not in the same way, but can we build recognition, making a lasting impact and even have people gasp when they see our names on the cover? Absolutely. The world's got room for different kinds of fame and there's something kind of magical about being the voice behind the curtain, quietly creating worlds that fans get lost in. And hey, if all of this fails, you could always wear sunglasses indoors and start a rumor about your next project just for fun. It works for movie stars, doesn't it? So it can work for us too. All right, my fabulous, almost famous writers, that's all for today's episode. If you liked what you heard, don't forget to hit the follow button and do subscribe to our channel. Leave some love in the comments to keep us inspired to share such videos. And Thank you so much for tuning in today. New episodes of Book Bar Theory Season 2 are released every Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an update. If you have any questions about booketing or publishing in India, do not hesitate to reach out to us. All the contact details are provided in the description box below. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and leave a comment to share your thoughts. And if you are a writer, don't forget to share it with your fellow writers and invite them to join us on this exciting journey with the book path theory. Until next time, keep writing and exploring the world of books with us. Thank you so much.